Okay, uh, welcome to Do Yoga with the Phoenix. I thought today that I would have a bit of fun. I was looking at the book that came out about the guys in kilts that do yoga. And so, <laughs> hey, and then I was like thinking, what's well, really strong, right? And so I thought, the kilted warrior. <laughs> so we're going to do a sequence that's quite strong today, right? So not really Yiddish. But, uh, you know, a lot of warrior in it, and we're going to go through the warrior uh, sequence and uh, enjoy. So it's about strength today, guys, and that's why I'm in the gym. <laughs> Namaste. Kilted warrior, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna warm up to do some strong uh, warrior postures. And you know, being a Scotsman and wearing a kilt and living in Australia and all the rest of it, it's a lot of fun actually, right? You get a lot of fun, especially people have had too much to drink. <laughs> and you know, our Scots are renowned for having too much to drink, and I used to teetotal now, but back in the day. And, uh, you know, one of the things that they say, right, so I'm going to clear up mystery forever, right, one of the things they say, what's worn under the kilt? And a classic Scott state statement to that is, nothing is worn under the kilt, everything is in perfect working order. <laughs> Namaste. All right, so we're going to come to standing first off, and just uh, stretching the body out. Taking a nice big deep breath in, stretching up nice and tall, breathing in here into this into this posture, as, as that's enough. and um, it is my father's kilt, so I've had it taken in a few times, but it doesn't fit so well now, I need to take it in again. We're going to just stretch up and over, hope it doesn't fall down, then you'll really see something, eh? <laughs> right, stretch it up and over. Nice big stretch, good, coming up and over to the other side, just as well it's cold today, let me tell you, uh, and as I'm in the gym, because the kilt is very hot, breathe in, stretch, getting a nice warm up, taking a nice big deep breath in, and bring the hands into Namaskar, and taking a full forward. So folding forward, bring the hands down, stretching out the back. Nice big stretch through the back. Just letting it fold forward here. Stretch, taking a deep breath in. Once again, back to standing. Uh, nice and strong in your standing. So I want you to think strength today. Strength, strong. Strong people, strong and powerful. That's what that's our intention today. Once again, nice big sweep up, taking the hands down, coming into a chair pose. Sit nice and deep in the chair. Breathing here. Take the hands out, stretch the hands out. Nice and long in the hands in the chair posture. Breathe. That's it, sweeping back up again. Once again, taking a few deep, deep breaths, Namaskar. Taking it again, back down to chair, warming up the legs, lifting the, the, the back back, stretching the hands out nice and strong. Deep down into it, see how deep you can go. Once again, coming up, getting the legs nice and warm for warrior posture. All right, so we're gonna come into it, take the legs a little bit wide, and we're going to come into a uh, malasana. So coming into a squat pose now. Coming deep down into the squat. Oh, gosh, I did some heavy squats the other day there. And oh my goodness, yoga is so good. And people think that uh, yoga and strength training don't go hand in hand. But believe me, they go so well together. And I think that's one of the reasons I've been able to keep myself very strong is because I keep myself supple as well. So this is one of my favorite, all time favorite yoga.
Just letting the knees open up a little bit, let the hips open up here. Good, rolling forward, coming down, just really warming up the body so to get into, uh, into our um, warrior pose, poses, taking the right leg forward and then dropping down, opening up the hip flexor, taking the hands up, stretching up, breath in here, Pull forward and coming out other side. Dropping into it, hip flexor stretch here. Coming down, <clears throat> taking our first downward facing dog. And when I talk about yoga, when I'm in a, in, a, in a class, I'm actually talking about yoga asana. Now we use, um, a lot of people, to a lot of people yoga is just stretching. And uh, that is part of it. There's eight limbs to yoga as we know them. Patanjali is eight limbs of yoga, which is generally what we practice here in the West. Uh, and one of them is asana or posture. Though so that's what I'm creating strength training to, not the philosophy side, the other stuff. And I'm a deep believer in that as well. Coming down now, Chaturanga, nice and strong, Chaturanga. Low planking. Holding here, toes out, upward facing dog. Coming back. Downward facing dog. Just walking the dog a little bit. Getting ready, getting set up. Taking the right leg high and bringing it forward. Dropping the left leg back. So I can see now, I drop my left leg back. And <clears throat> if I was like this, it would be a high lunge. But that angle of the back foot turns this into a warrior. So stretching up, warrior one pose. Drop the front leg down. So we want to get that parallel with the ground. Swing the body around, push the pelvis around. And then just coming up out of that, stepping forward. Just a little bit of uh, explanation there. Um, the warrior posture is the leg at a 45, warrior one. Uh, Vira Bradasana, the, the leg is at a 45 degree angle. You might say, well, what's the difference? Well, if I've got my leg for both legs facing forward, and this is a great posture, it's just a high lunge. And so this is going to stretch the front, uh, the hip flexors. As soon as I drop my leg round at 45 degrees like this, then right, I'm externally rotating the hip joint and getting movement into the hip which is what I want that's what I'm after here in this posture good coming forward taking the other side okay well, I'm getting confused now all right so dropping into it the back leg right the, the leg is more or less at 45 you just want to feel the hip opening up though and then push the hip forward drop down into it pushing the hip forward the feeble bone on, in this instance on the left leg wants to be more or less parallel with the ground. That's more or less what we're looking for. Then taking the hands up, stretching up warrior one posture. And stepping out of that. Good. Stepping forward. Excuse me. Let's say we've externally rotated the hip. So what I want to do now is internally rotate the hip. So we're going to take a wide leg posture like this so that the, the, the feet are facing forward. Uh, so pigeon toed in other words, with the knees back. <clears throat> right, nice and strong. Remember, the attitude is one of strength here. Taking a nice big deep breath in, letting it come, bringing the hands onto the hips. Then a deep breath in, open up the lungs, push the body back, fall forward. Coming down into it, 
all the way down. <coughs> open up, <coughs> open up, <coughs> excuse me, open up your legs. <coughs> and if you've got plenty of room, take the sides of the feet and then see if you can pull the head down toward the ground. See if you can get the forehead on the ground. Open on up the hamstrings here. Good. Coming out of that, taking the hands, uh, right, the left hand in front, underneath the, the body, stretch the body forward, taking the right hand up and twist. Coming out of that, taking a twist on the other side. Twist. Coming out of that, stretching forward, breathing here. Once again, still working the hip. So coming down into Malasana again. Opening up the hip once again. Letting the pelvis drop down. Letting the back be nice and long. Push the knees out if it's available to you. Push the knees out with the elbows. Relish the sensation in the hip. Know that that's keeping your hips supple. And I can certainly feel mine today, that's for sure. Coming out of that, coming back to standing. All right. Just keeping keeping with that as far as the uh, as far as the uh, uh, external rotation of the hip joint, we're going to take a goddess pose. And what could be stronger than that? A eh? goddess. So this is a very strong posture, and it's also a balancing posture as well. So it's a really challenging pose. You want to push the knees out as far as you can get them, and take the hands out so that they come out. Then drop down into it. Drop down and squeeze the shoulder blades together. You can feel trapezius working now. All right, let's gonna have some fun. We're gonna do breath of fire. Okay, here we go. Stick your tongue out and marry warrior. Ha! nothing but serious stuff eh and come out of that fabulous guys all right just letting myself come down a little bit after that uh, <clears throat> we're going to take a, a bit of a sequence a series a se um, get it together mate we're going to take uh, Serena Namaskara B and so taking a nice big deep breath in stretching up folding forward jumping or stepping to plank then low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, taking the right leg high and coming up into a warrior one, folding forward, back to plank, all the way down, upward facing, downward facing, left hand side, warrior one, Folding forward, plank, all the way down, upward facing, downward facing, breathe. All right, <clears throat> from here, coming back again, taking the right leg high and bringing it forward. And coming directly into a warrior two posture. So I want to try and keep the torso uh, uh, perpendicular with the ground. Squeeze the, the, the shoulder blades together. Step forward. Relax. Taking the right leg back, warrior two on this 
side, nice and deep. And step forward, relax. Okay, um, there's another, there's another two warriors, warrior three, which is Vera Brad Bradasana uh, three, um, which is a balancing posture, but also very strong as well. And there's another one called the humble warrior. Um, so we'll do that one too, so that we've got you know all the warriors covered. So warrior three. So we're gonna, uh, we're just gonna come to standing warrior three, taking the right leg forward. Uh, all right, and from here, um, we're gonna take the the hands up, swing the hands up, and then coming forward onto the right leg. Or forward on the right leg, hands are up, body down, leg up, coming down as far as we can, stretch. Stretch forward, stretch backward, and come out. Fabulous. <sighs> left hand side, taking the left leg forward. <sighs> Hands up over, stretch, and then come down, left hand side. Body down, leg up, stretch the body out. Whoops. <laughs> Coming down. Coming down, coming down, and coming out. And as you can see, I'm practicing too. So, you know, people think, oh, teachers, teachers, they're all good. They know exactly how to do. No, we don't. We're practicing just the same as you are. We might know a little bit more theory, but we're practicing as well. And I, I, you will never perfect yoga. So it's a practice for me too. Every time I come to the mat, I understand that. Got the heart rate up a little bit now. All right. From here, uh, we're just going to come down onto the ground. Right, and I'll show you uh, a warrior three, uh, which is kind of like a lizard posture. Um, so we're going to just take a nice big deep breath in. Stretch it up, fold forward. Bring the hands down. Roll around and then drop, dropping the knee. So you've got, in this instance, I've got my left leg forward. Then I'm going to take a little bit further forward and take the right leg back. So we're trying to get as much opening in the hip flexor as we can. And from here, I'm going to take my right knee down, right elbow down, and wrap my left hand around my calf, drop the, the head. And the attitude is one of humble. Being humble in the posture. Opening up the hip still. Coming out of that. Rolling around other side. And uh, we see it from the other side. So dropping the knee back and then taking the leg back a little bit, coming onto the left elbow this time, taking my right hand around my calf and dropping the head. Good, coming out of that. And we're just gonna come down onto our, our up. and that's kind of heavy the kill. it's really heavy the kill <laughs> doing yoga and it's probably only about 10 degrees in here but I'll tell you what <laughs> I'm hot so uh, <laughs> anyway so <laughs> anything for a bit of fun there right so what we're going to do now is we're just going to stretch the stretch the hands up and fall forward pick up the the feet taking a nice big deep breath in and pull, nice and strong, nice and strong. Remember, this is about being strong. I want you to think strong. Think strong. And people go, I'm not strong. And I'll say, well, who are you comparing yourself to? Who is it that you think is strong? Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger? 
Uh, so maybe, right, so if you're comparing yourself to him, well, he's getting a bit older now. He's a cool dude, right, absolutely. But, you know, um, yeah, if you're comparing yourself to somebody that's incapacitated in a, in a, in a, in a hospital bed, right, then, then, or an anorexic person, you're unbelievably strong. So just be mindful of that because I find, taking a twist now, I find that a lot of these people, that a lot of things that people do and say, they're, they're actually, they don't think the, behind the, so in other words, I'm not strong. Well, what does that mean? You know, not strong in comparison to an elephant. Yeah, not strong in comparison to a mouse. Well, what do you mean? Right? And when they actually analyze that, they'll say, oh, well, actually, I've just got a, an illusion or a delusion about what is strong in my mind. Just twisting the body around now. Just cooling it down after a bit of strength there. We did the warrior one, two, three, and tumble. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. And then we're just going to come out of that, taking Shavasana. <sighs> Got to get this kilt back. And falling back, lying back, Shavasana. Lovely. Take the hands overhead, stretch. Stretch the body out, stretch it out. Give yourself a little bit of a, of a movement through the spine. Stretch it out. Sitting up and coming into a seated posture. Sealing the practice. <sighs> Taking the hands into a namaskar. Taking a nice big deep breath in. guys if you like what you saw and you'd love to join me again uh, please do so uh, subscribe to my channel I want to spread the word I want to spread the word you know yoga for everyone namaste see you later guys thank you